Hey guys, today's video is going to be on my freestyle setup. Um, I guess it's going to be kind of my whole front lawn, how I have it set up and how I've managed everything in such a small space and just kind of how to how to do it on a budget, I guess. Um, I live on about three acres, I believe it is. You'd think that's enough room, but this side of the lawn, I'm not allowed to use, even though this side would be perfect. So, I've been kind of had to uh, make do with what I have on the other side of the lawn, which I'll show you right now. This is the other side. Yeah, it does look like there's quite a bit of room, and there is. Um, but for what I like to do, it's kind of small, so I'll kind of give you guys a little rundown on um, just how I've made do with the space that I have and how I've, how I've done it. So starting off, you guys probably have seen this before, my freestyle ramp setup. Um, the ramp I made, hopefully the cars don't fuck up my audio. Um, I made this freestyle ramp last winter. I can't talk right now, I'm losing my thought. Made this last winter in my buddy's garage. I did it in like fucking minus 15 degree weather, no heater or anything like that. Whatever, got her done. It's a little over 8 feet tall by about 20 feet long I think that's about what it is I don't even know actually I don't know I don't I don't know what it actually came out to so we're gonna grab this we're gonna make everything drop restart it here if I can one-handed okay I don't know if it's even working no it's fucking muddy out here but it's okay so it's moved but it was at 21 feet so I guess it's a, it's, um, it's a little over 8 feet tall by 20, let's say 20 feet long because as you can see, the ramp just stops probably, oh fuck my ankle, ramp stops probably around right here-ish, that's, you know, this is no different than down here, and I'll get to all this setup, how I have that, um, yeah, there's the ramp itself, built it just out of 2x4s, yeah, just 2x4s, Use half, um, I use, I'm trying to find the other screws. So yeah, I used half wood screws, as you can see there. Then the other half I used, um, roofing screws. Um, you can see the trusses, yeah. I know not everything's perfect in it, but it was just budget build. Used what I had, got the job done clearly. I have probably, I have, th I've hit this thousands of times and, the only way I've really got, sorry, I'm wiping my feet off. It's friggin' just fucked out here. And it hurts because I have a broken friggin' foot. If you watched the video I just uploaded, I took the cast off because I didn't want to get all muddy, and that's fucked right now. But the only way I've really had on this is just right here. Where this is about the mid. This is about where I'm hitting it the hardest, right? Because coming 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 in but right here is where it's curving the most right here so this is where it's hitting the hardest and as you can see not much where just a little bit just a tiny little bit other than that you can see I got some more um more uh, roofing screws in there just for traction about every I don't know six inches apart about that and at the top of the ramp you can see maybe I hope you can see I got like a metal bar up there just so um, my tire doesn't rip off the wood when I go off of it We'll go over here to the landing. Cars are going to think I'm crazy talking to myself. The ramp, or the landing, sorry. So, I see this has collapsed a little bit. This little pocket right here, I cut this out to do a backflip on. Never happened because the dirt got so goddamn hard on the other end, other side. I didn't want to break my... I was more worried about just breaking my forks, to be honest with you. This is what we were shooting at, um... In the last vlog there, a couple more shots into it. I didn't even see how deep 223 would go in this. Huh. Oh, there's a bullet right there. It's pretty neat. So, yeah, the cars are just fucking panning her down the 407. But no, here's the landing. The landing's really gotten small in the last, what the fuck, look at all this corn. They just took our corn off and he fucking threw a lot of it on here. 
huh but yeah so here's the landing right here guys the landing when we started off it was um I, th oh, fuck, I think it was around 13 and a half feet tall that's the only measurement we knew just how tall it was but that was done let's say june i think we got this done so back in june it was about that tall lots and lots of rain it's made the thing i bet you it only sits yeah i don't know i want to say probably 10 feet now so it shrunk a lot in the spring and have to get a lot more loads of dirt i want to widen it too i'm gonna to make another ramp to put beside it and yada 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 but yeah there's the landing uh, it just comes into a simple berm brap 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 fly out of it but um yeah well, i'll show you the run-in for the um the freestyle ramp itself here because this is kind of where where it got a little bit complicated and it got a little bit complicated because uh, i'll see if you can see it from here maybe not so the ramp the run into the ramp our property has a dip in it right here um we got a big flood that comes through here so I kind of, I didn't know what to do because I wanted to build up I wanted to build dirt up, but it's like fuck that's a lot of dirt to bring in and then I have to make a bridge for that and then even if I make a bridge I'm still gonna have problems with erosion because that flood when that flood comes in through here guys it's fucking crazy. So next best thing I could think of was is let's just make it all out of wood and then just bury the um, post into the ground and hopefully that'll work. So what I've done here is. Because I want to make it all level from where I start um, coming out of my little corner up there to where I start take, getting speed. All the way from here. Oh, uh, I can't talk. So from where I start getting speed from up to about where the jump starts, I want it to be as level as possible. So this is what I've come up with. I got the carpet down right now just for traction. We'll walk around here and I'll start from the beginning of it so you guys get a... A little better idea. It's a ramp. So fuck. Not having a fun time on my ankle here, guys. I don't got my cast on. Or my air fucking thing. Air boot. So here's a little berm that comes around. Brap 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 brap. And um yeah, this is kinda sketchy how I get on it. I don't I didn't really do a good job on didn't finish this part, but anyways, this is what we're talking about. So here's the bridge I've made. As you can see, come on and gradually get some. Oh, fuck, I'm lost for words. Higher. I, let's just go with the word higher because that sounds good right now. It gradually gets higher. Um, and another thing is before you guys say, holy shit, what kind of carpenter were you? How fucked up were you, bud? Because, like, if you see, yeah, like, they're. They're not all straight. These ones, like they, these ones, they're not into the ground. Like they're, they're just um, on the surface. These ones are all the way in the dirt, as you can see. But the problem was, is um, if you see how cockeyed the wood I used was, and yeah, I know it over. I know it's not fucking perfect, but does it work? Yes. So, yeah, and the wood is really um, crooked and stuff. Like you can see how, like how this is bending in this way come down here and okay you can't even see that really but if you look at it, it's bending the opposite way out so I was having a hard time getting everything to pull right but I was like who gives a shit I'm just gonna be riding on it anyways right but so yeah so this is what I've done getting mud on it nice but um so yeah this is how I've utilized the space that I have guys and how I've made everything the way I like it and to make it so it's usable and Good place to practice and learn some tricks so yeah here it is i think this is about 200 feet and i don't know i thought it turned out pretty good so you guys get down here a little bit and i'll show you a little clip of me riding it right now
you can see it works, it stands, it holds up. Um, yeah, so there it is, guys. Sorry this video wasn't any better. I didn't really know what to do because I have a broken foot right now. Again, like I said in the last video, I'm sorry about this quality, the audio quality. I fucking hate it, but until I can afford a new camera, this is this is what we got right now. So, you know, stay with me. Just kind of, you know, subscribe, like, keep following me, and I promise I'll get better content out to you guys. It's just kind of, like I said, I got over a broken hand, and right after that, I broke my foot. That, I'm certain, I can walk on it now and stuff. It's just I can't, um, I can't ride yet. Um, I'm just starting to be able to walk without my cast right now. I still got a pretty good limp, but that'll be um, healed up in no time. And then hopefully we can get some ice fishing videos. Uh, I think I'm going to stud the tires on my bike, on my RM250. Just, I don't know, I'm going to bring some cool stuff to this channel though. So you guys just um, be patient and wait along with me. I'm going to get a new camera. That I'm going to get a new camera. I'm telling you that right now. I'm getting a new fucking camera because this thing is shit. Sorry GoPro, no offense to you guys, but it's the old hero too. The audio is pretty bad and even the even the picture's getting pretty comparatively to the newer cameras, it's getting pretty um pretty outdated. But anyway, so yeah, here's the setup I use guys. If you have any questions, just free uh, feel free to drop a comment down in there. I'll I'll get back to you right away. And um yeah, until next time. Just keep watching, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. Any um any suggestions you guys have for this channel, feel free to let me know and I'll do it. Um, a big thing is like I keep saying, I'd like, I need a new camera. So hopefully by the next couple of videos, I'll have a new camera for you guys. We'll have some better quality to this uh, channel and we'll make something out of it. So thanks for tuning in again, guys, and uh, have a good one. Also, I was wondering if you guys wanted to see, if you remember the video of me riding my little DS80, I'll put a link in the description here, I'm um, doing some fucking fast little laps on a little track I had made for it a couple of years ago. Think about um, fixing that bike up, so if you guys want to see some videos of me, um, if you can see, uh, you, uh, I turn around, there's a chicken, for that bike right there, if you guys want to see some videos of me um, fixing it up a bit, and let me know if you guys want to see me uh, do some videos of fixing that thing up, and uh, if so, then we'll do it up and uh, beat the shit out of it. So, till next time, peace. Motherfuckers, that time of year again.